Hey there everyone, so this YouTuber is accused of topping 240 kilometers an hour on his motorcycle on Colorado Interstate and he's wanted on multiple charges now. This YouTuber Gixer Bra with 250,000 subscribers is now wanted by the police on multiple charges. His channel consists of him taking multiple women out on dates on the back of his motorcycle. Some of the videos are just casual, some are pretty cool, and then some are him racing and speeding and going or super, super fast, as you can see here, 189 miles per hour. So this dude's got some pretty crazy videos of him speeding and going in and out of traffic, as you can see. And casually, a lot of them, you know, are pretty awesome, I'm gonna admit, but at the same time, he's not only endangering himself, he's endangering others. As you can see here in this video, he's topping 180, that is insane. Sadly, because of his videos and posting it, it is evidence, and I guess somebody did report him, and now he's wanted by the police. Sucks for gigs or bra. So it states a motorcyclist who authorities say posted a video of himself on YouTube speeding from Colorado Springs to Denver metro area on Interstate 25 in 20 minutes, a trip that typically takes about an hour, is wanted on multiple charges. Rendon Deitzman, a 32-year-old from Texas, recorded himself September 28th going more than 150 miles per hour, which is 241 kilometers an hour. Squeezing through small gaps in traffic and traveling on the shoulder, according to Colorado State Patrol news release sent Wednesday, the video has since been deleted from YouTube, but the State Patrol shared a clip with the news release. So it states here that Deitzman, who is known as Gixer Bra on YouTube, has posted multiple similar videos from different parts of the country. He is wanted on charges of menacing, engaging in a speed contest, reckless endangerment, reckless driving, speeding 40 miles per hour over the limit, engaging in an exhibition of speed and driving without a license plates attached. So that's like seven different charges that he's wanted for. So it states here that investigators say numerous drivers and online viewers contacted the Colorado State Patrol about the incident. So sadly, he has some haters out there. So I'm not sure exactly what he'd be facing for these seven different charges, but I'm pretty sure you could just look them up and find it out. But yeah, it doesn't sound too good. Rule number one of YouTube is if you're going to be filming videos, don't post videos of you committing crimes or breaking the law. Really giving the evidence to the police and all it takes is one person to report you. And sadly, like, there's just the proof. Like, you can try to deny it. You could say, like, hey, um... You know, this is fake, this is staged, I edited the speed. There's a bunch of different defenses he can do, but ultimately, I don't think a judge is going to look at his channel and his videos and go, hey, look, you're innocent, you weren't doing this. Also, blatantly actually breaking the law and posting these videos to YouTube, I'm surprised he still has his YouTube channel fully monetized. Like I said, this is actually insane, ballsy, this is super, like, in my opinion, really rad, but at the same time, very dangerous and reckless, because not only he's endangering himself, like, he's lucky he doesn't kill himself, but he could cause an accident, and other people could actually be injured and killed. Just the thing, too, just imagine you're driving down the highway, and then this guy ends up crashing into you and dying. How would you feel if you ended up causing this dude's death because he was a recklessly speeding and driving but like i said this is pretty crazy so if you're gonna do youtube and do youtube videos don't break the law even though lots of youtubers do and they get you know publicity for it this is not really the smartest way to go unless you're willing to face the consequences so menacing is a class one misdemeanor punishable up to one year behind bars and fines as much as a thousand dollars the second one is engaging in a speed contest and it says knowingly conducting a speed contest is a class 1 misdemeanor traffic offense It carries 10 days to 12 months in jail and or 300 to 1000 dollars in fines. So the charge of reckless endangerment states that the offense is a class 2 misdemeanor punishable by up to 120 days in jail and or up to 750 dollars in fines. Reckless driving is another class 2 misdemeanor which he can face anywhere from 10 days to 6 months in county jail and or fines of 50 to a thousand dollars. Next one is speeding 40 miles per hour over the limit and this one varies. To Colorado law this one varies and it states here 25 or more miles per hour over the reasonable and prudent speed can be a minimum of $300, a maximum of $1,000, and a minimum of 10 days or a maximum of one year in jail. Then engaging in an ex exhibition of speed 
is a class two misdemeanor traffic offense which carries laxer penalties than speed contest 10 days to 90 days in jail and or $150 to $300 in fines. Last charge which would be driving without a license plates attached then is a punishable by a fine of up to $100. So I decided to look up and calculate what he could be for minimal to maximum fine as well as minimal to maximum jail sentence. So for jail time, you could be facing anywhere from 60 days minimal to a maximum of four to five years in jail, depending on the judge. And for the fines, you could be anywhere from minimal 1800 to 2000 or a maximum of 5200 or possibly more based on the Colorado law. I mean, getting a fine of like five grand is a slap on the wrist and I'm pretty sure anyone would pay it off. Like my cousin, for example, I love the guy dearly, but he kind of stated that he gets into trouble drinking and driving and he's got a lot of money, so he just keeps paying it off. But then eventually the judge got fed up and basically warned him, hey, if you're back here, we're going to start giving you jail time. So he had to smarten up. So depending on the judge, they could just give him a fine and he could barely do any minimal jail and that would be like the best case scenario. First case is he's paying the five grand or more and he's serving four to five years in jail, which would be insane. Like that would really suck. So it's not looking good for Gixer Bra and I'm surprised he's gotten away with this for a long time considering he has tons of videos where it shows that he's breaking these laws and multiple times and he's facing seven charges and I'm surprised he's not facing more I'm actually really surprised he still has his YouTube channel because you're not allowed to blatantly break the law on YouTube but he is I mean in professional situations you should be allowed to do whatever you want like heck Mr. Beast for example blows up tons of TNT in a protected safe environment even though like that's extreme you can't just go do that in the middle of your cul-de-sac and this guy here he's speeding like it says here 192 miles per hour and you know that's fine if he's like at a, like a race strip or something like that but doing it in the middle of the highway in and out of traffic I understand why this guy's getting into trouble yeah, I came across this news and I wanted to share it with everyone. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments down below. Please like this video and share it with your friends and family because it helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. And if you can, please click that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and I truly do appreciate it. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care and peace out.